<laughs> Had you going there for a second. So before we get to that, let's see what's in the news today. Well, I saw a, um, a, a show last night. Um, it involved a tap dancer, so to speak, a one-man show. And this tap dancer was skilled as hell. He would tap and tap and tap. And then for the grand finale, he tapped so fast. He was just tap and 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 tap. It was great. Everyone was clapping even while he was tapping, clapping and tapping, clapping and tapping. And then he died. Yeah, um, he he pushed himself too much. I think he got excited because this is like his first show ever, and like his big time on Broadway. Well, the equivalent of Broadway in my world, right? Okay. And I think, I think he just, he went too far. Inexperienced, and the kid just dropped dead from exhaustion and over-tapping. He tapped his little heart out. But I guess if you're going to go, that's, that's, that's one way, you know? <laughs> it was a good show. He knew what he was doing. He just died. Anyway, what else is in the news today? Well... Um, you, we all know in your world and in my world, we have those anti-theft machines, you know, those, like, alarms that go off if you're holding something and you walk through it before you exit the store and then go beep, 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 right? <laughs> precisely, Moy, precisely. Um, <laughs> and, um, so there's a new kind of uh, anti-theft machines that I put in place, they do not go beep, 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 right? Because that doesn't always work sometimes, right? It's, it's startling, but then the person runs off, right? And then they really, if they can bolt with the item, they're gone, especially if they have a, a getaway plan. But to counteract this, they came up with this new method called the taunting anti-theft machine. And what this does is when someone walks through it, right? And depending on the item you're holding, the machine recognizes what item you're holding, and then it taunts you for having that. For example, if you have, like, say, a video game, it says, ha, 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 you're a gamer, you're a loser, 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 bam, 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 and it's very taunting noises. It's designed to make the thief cry and feel depressed, even if they run away, so that way they don't feel good, and then authorities can catch up with them. Evidently, it's worked! I think it said, like, three out of five, um, shoplifters end up breaking out in tears as they try to cross the um the barrier. <laughs> so I don't know what they say because I don't I don't steal stuff. Well I don't steal stuff where they have anti theft stuff. I, I steal things where um uh, they're a little bit more lenient on security. I mean I don't do that. <laughs> so yeah, so evidently these machines are 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 showing results. It's hilarious. I I mean I have no idea what they say. I'm sure they have it on the internet what these machines say and whatnot. I don't want to find out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's just pass. Let's, let's let's talk about some some real nice news. So there's this old rundown town, lots of poor people in it, and so of course, if there are when there are poor people, there are rich people. It's the only way it exists. There can only be a rich if there's a poor, and vice versa. So in this town, there's um there's a legend in my world, not just this town in my world, but in this town, in this town, it was reported because you can't catch it on camera. Cameras fizz out, so you can only talk about it through word of mouth. But the ancient creature known as the Pink Komodo from, rest, from West Alamodo is a Pink Komodo dragon who is said to have the abilities that as it walks in town, it's just a walking, wandering animal. And it says those who are unfortunate or misfortune, they can they see their, their stature and their living situation improve significantly after just looking at the Pink Komodo from West Alamodo. And those who are rude... Well, I want to exploit the Komodo. They are, well, this is the first-hand account from several witnesses. By the way, the, the legends are true. Um, I heard that a lot of people's lives have been improving ever since the pink Komodo from West Alamodo made its way down through that, ro that old town. But there was a rich asshole and all of his goons who wanted to capture it, the legendary creature. And as they walked closer to it, they were slowing down. But it's almost like they didn't realize they were slowing down. And they turned pink. But they didn't know it. Everybody was just watching. They turned pink, and they got closer and closer, and they puffed up into like a pink, puffy marshmallow thing, and poof, they disappeared. I think they died. I think they were killed. But again, that's what happens when you approach the pink Komodo from West Alamodo with ill intentions. And it just disappeared. It just walked away, walked through town, and then it was gone. It's what it does. It just wanders. And you never know if it'll wander into your town. And then once it leaves your town, you cannot be seen, because a great... Pink sand mist comes in and it disappears with the pink Komodo. 
Oh, here's a hilarious thing, though. So, after they went poof, the jackasses who tried to take advantage of the Komodo, all that's left of them were their underpants. I don't get it. Nobody understands why. It's not like their shirts were left or their socks or their shoes or anything else. Just, just their underpants. A lot of tidy whities from what I heard. <laughs> That's a good story, though, because the town was seen was being more prosperous for the poor. The rich were starting to balance out, so it was balancing. It was good. <laughs> so that's the story. Thank you, Pink Komodo from West Alamodo. And that's it for the news today.